Hello, friends. How are you? I am fine. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress in uh, AWS. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I will use uh, PHP 8, Nginx, and Amazon Linux too. So let's get started. I have an article written uh, on how to set up PHP 8 with Nginx and then over there, you have all those instructions, which you can just copy and uh, copy paste and uh, create those uh, examples. So let's go to AWS dashboard and uh, create a new instance. I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2 with uh, T2 Micro for free here. I will use an IAM role that is uh, EC2 role. Why? Because I'm going to use systems manager, session manager to connect to that instance. I'm not going to use putty or terminal to connect to the instance. I'm use the browser behavior to connect to that instance. That's very secure. You don't need to open port 22 for this. And it is uh, very easy and convenient. So I have created this role. And uh, if you don't know how to create this role, just go to IAM section and uh, over there in the roles, you have option to create role for EC2 and choose the permissions for SSM full access. So that is the main uh, reason that's re that is required for permissions to work properly, which is SSM full access. So let me show you. So SSM full access and alternatively, I have also added S3 full access and the reason I will explain later. So I have chosen the C2 role, then I have uh, enable and termination protection. That's true. User data here, I will copy paste all my startup script. What this script will do is it will install, uh, let me show you, it will install Nginx, it will install PHP 8, it will install Sartboard. So all those good things which will be done. I don't need to manually do this. So let's go to the next storage. That's eight gigabytes. That's fine. Next, go to attacks project. popular bike, then I'm going to use my existing rule. So this is the existing security group. So I have, I see I have open port SSH 22. I will just turn it off because I don't need that. But let's choose this. I will edit that later. Review and launch. So this is all those things. Launch. Yes, I have this key pair and let's launch it. Okay. It's launching. While this is prepared, I'm going to uh, go to security groups and I will uh, update the security group for web. This is the web security group. And I will delete the port 22 because that's not required at this moment. This is the port 22. I just need port 80 and 443. That is HTTP and HTTPS. Okay. And I have created another security group. RDS security group. This is for connecting to web server to RDS. Why? I will explain later. So um, let's see the status of our instance. Okay, it's initializing. And uh, meanwhile, it is initializing. Let's go to RDS because we need a database for creating the, what for installing the WordPress. So we need to use MySQL for that. Let's go to RDS section and create a database. Create database. 
okay standard create mysql mysql i will use mysql uh, 8 that's good treat here then we have to give popular bike pop sorry popular bike admin and then generate a random password in a notepad save the password we will delete that password for future users generate password copy this copy paste it use it here now uh, t2 micro that's fine everything as it is default we don't need to change anything publicly accessible not required at this moment vpc that's default security group here we are going to choose the security group rdsg rdssg that's the one that we are going to choose so, so uh, default is not required rdssg that's the security group that we created which will have access to our web server so that means our web server is whitelisted for that security group okay so uh let's go to the next uh initial database i want to create initial database that is uh popular like db automated backups that's true and enable deletion protection that is also important so no one deletes this accidentally create awesome so what this do is we'll create an rds and it takes around five minutes you need to be patient and uh, meanwhile it is the rds is creating we will go to web server back again and see if our web server is ready yes this is ready so our web server is ready and we are going to connect to that web server via the systems manager that's very simple you see in the session manager you click here and you connect you don't need putty you don't need terminal anything your browser your google chrome is your now the terminal and you can run all the comments that you can run from over there so that's that's really a great tool i believe everyone is using this and no one is using putty or terminal anymore and you don't need to open port 22 anymore so that's a great feature now we have connected to the terminal what should we do first of all let's check if everything is working fine so let's connect here copy the ip and go to the browser and run the ip it should show the default page of nginx no not something is wrong it's not working or am i didn't copy the domain and let's see still not ready yet let's wait for a few seconds more to see if the instance is ready because there are a lot of things needs to be installed over there and it can usually take some time so let's wait for that okay so let's see did we copy everything i think so okay uh, let's try to connect one more time error connection refused no still not ready yet okay let's check sudo system ctl status nginx 
Oke. Okay. Uh, this is still not done yet. It's a bit strange, but I think something went wrong. Um, let's the in startup script didn't went well. That's the major problem. Let's try one more time. Let's see if we have PHP version. Okay. <laughs> PHP installation worked fine, but somehow the Nginx didn't service couldn't find. So that's the issue. Nginx one. Okay. Um, let's terminate this. And maybe something went wrong or I didn't copy it properly. I'm going to um, shut down this. I need to disable termination protection. That's the good thing that no one can delete this or terminate this. That's the good part. However, I need to terminate that. I think something didn't went well and this can happen. I don't know. Okay. So we will try it again. Uh, we will try to launch the instance one more time. So let's go to launch instance. We are going to choose the Amazon Linux 2. That's the base AMI that we are going to use. Amazon Linux 2, 64 bit, that's okay. And then uh, we are going to use T2 Micro. That's the one. IAM role, EC2 role, that's fine. Termination protection enabled and user data. I think let's try again if everything is copied properly. This is supposed to run. Okay. Add storage. Add tags. Let's add a tag. Project. Popular bike. Then next configure to the security group that is web, it's fine. All is well. I have the key pair, let's launch again. Sorry, I had to relaunch again, but that was an unexpected issue. This can happen, I think, because uh, the startup skip didn't finish properly, and uh, that can be a reason. Anyway, now we are uh, we are going to check one more time if everything is working fine. In initializing, okay. While it's initializing, we are going to install an Elastic IP as well. That is required because we want to point a domain. Allocate an Elastic IP. And associate this Elastic IP with the instance. Okay, so this is still uh, ongoing, we are, we are checking, initializing, initializing means the instance is being uh, used to uh, run those setup scripts, that is we have copied here, and it will install Nginx, it will install PHP 8, it will install certbot, all those things, okay. <coughs> It takes one or two minutes time. And then after our installation is done, we, we need to create this server configuration or server block for Nginx. Let's copy this and paste it to the notepad. Just replace the domain names here. 
<coughs> so we have the domain name uh, that is this is the domain name and replace 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 and popular type okay so the all other things can stay as it is so that's all oops sorry we have to end this part okay that's that's it basically okay so we created the server block uh, now we just need to wait for the instance to be fully prepared we're not going to quickly uh, connect because last time it didn't went well. So I will, this time I hope everything goes well. <clears throat> yes, that's it. So that was really unexpected issue, but now we see the welcome screen of Nginx, that's the page that we want to see. Amazing. So our script, startup script run fine. Now we are going to connect to that instance. And uh, let's finish this process. Might take one or minute more. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, we copy the IP address, go to Cloudflare, which is our DNS provider, and uh, use this IP address. Proxy is removed, save. And we are going to use www. And that is the uh, CNAME that we will use. And, okay, so. <coughs> then what we are going to do is let's refresh the page and see if the status check is done two on two that's a good sign now we are going to connect to that instance using session manager connect okay then uh, what is next here is we need to uh, copy this server block and create a server block configuration file, config file. That is sudo pi etc nginx conf.t then popular byte.conf. And let's copy the whole process from here till to the end and paste it. Save the file, restart the server. Sudo systemctl restart nginx. Amazing. So, now we want to uh, create this folder because this folder is missing actually. So we go to this directory, cd, ls, the folder is missing, okay. Still, we haven't installed the WordPress. So we need to first download the WordPress. That is sudo wget wordpress dot org slash latest dot zip that's the file and it will download the latest wordpress okay if you do ls we will see latest dot zip and we need to unzip it so do unzip latest dot zip it is extracting all the files to the server Okay, let's then 
clear this screen ls we see wordpress as a folder now we want to re rename this so do mv wordpress to our expected folder path that is popular bike so we want to add a group here so do uh, group at www i just want to add a common group and then i change the file permissions to sudo ch own minus r apache www popular bike okay so now let's copy the domain name paste the browser and it should show the wordpress setup page amazing that means our domain is pointing to the server correctly but one issue it is not secure and we want to have a secure process how can we do that well we have installed certbot so let's just uh, run this so this is certbot nginx and set up the ssl let's say one click away from ssl so uh, info at yes yes i want to do it for both so i choose one and two so this is one this is two let's do that okay now if we uh, refresh this shows ssl that's that's good now we have choose we have chosen english that's our language for wordpress then let's set up the database configurations now let's see if our database is ready yes our database is ready let's copy to the host name this is the host name copy this and paste it here let's database name use the database name here oh sorry we have given the configuration popular byte db this is our database name let's go to username where is our username this is our username and password that we have stored in our notepad amazing so that's it we have configured the database properly site title that is popular bike it's a name popular bike popular bike user password this is the password email that's info at bike.com install wordpress save login login amazing so we have successfully installed wordpress into our aws we have used ec2 as the web server rds as the mysql database and here it is our wordpress with free ssl from let's and play congratulations okay a few more steps let's add some plugins that's really essential or key plugins that i always use akismet i love this plugin akismet that's fine i will um, go to that to that bit later then add another one is google google site kit install this 
activate okay you can now activate configure your site kit with google account that's very simple so click here start setup sign with google so this is the google account that i'm going to use continue Proceed. <coughs> Allow add site. Go to my dashboard. Okay, so we connected to Google uh, Search Console. And we need to connect with Google Analytics as well. Let's do that. Continue. I'm going to set up the analytics. Okay, just choose a default account. Property, set a new property, set a new view, all website data, configure analytics, proceed. Continue. So the site kit was interrupted because you didn't get any permissions. You do the plugin setup. Okay, let's try one more time. I think they had some permission issues or something. Okay, I will check it later. Something went wrong for the <coughs> permission. That's let's go to the plugins section and see what plugins we have. Oh, Akismet setup. Yeah, let's set up the Akismet. We're going to create a free account in Akismet. Info at dot com. Okay, .com. Okay, it will send me an email. Let's go to my email box. And this will send me an email. Okay, this takes some time, so let's wait for this. Then, um, while it is being created, we are going to go to plugins section and install some other plugins. Add new. I use rank math. Skip now. I just want to do some easy setup. Okay, 
I will do the data rank map configuration. I have just installed the rank map. Then I'm going to install one more plugin that is for the WP offload. That's the plugin. Install this. Let's configure. Okay, this is an important plugin and uh, this plugin helps you to store your images to S3. Let me show you how. Remember I choose an, I created an IAM role with S3 full permission. And because for that, I can just access the S3 bucket from my EC2 without any API key or et cetera. So choose this option. My server is on Amazon Web Services and I would like to use IAM roles. That's great. Next. So create a new bucket that is like come create new bucket. So now all your assets that is you upload here will be stored into this bucket. That's the beauty. And I'm going to create a cloud front URL here. If I go to CF. Get the cloud from distribution. Com. Create distribution. Okay. So uh, let's, I have used a bucket name that's a bit different. So I will, I will change the uh, bucket name here. Change the bucket name. You browse for existing buckets. And this is the bucket name that I need to do. I cannot use .com because it's for domains. So I will delete that bucket. Okay, uh, leave local public access disabled. That's fine. And I already have a CloudFront created that is pointing to that bucket. I will just uh, take the CloudFront ID. Then click here, choose CloudFront, save delivery provider. From CDN, that's it. So I hope this is uh, quite a big tutorial, 30 minutes. I don't get that much big. So, um, but th this will help you to set up and WordPress into AWS with full uh, good standard EC2 RTS and then setting up those files into S3 bucket <coughs> using CloudFront. There are some other things also is required, but I will give those a bit later. So thank you for watching this big video. I hope this helps you to set up WordPress in AWS. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I see a lot of people watch my videos, but don't subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. And this encourages me to create new videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.